Alright, um, hello and welcome to this short little introduction to Heroes and Generals. This is mostly for my friends that doesn't really want to play this game with me, but um, I don't see any harm in anyone else watching it, so yeah. This is <coughs> the um, um, main menu screen thingy where you can select which one of your soldiers you want to play as. Um, over here we have ribbons, which you will get uh, the more you use specific types of weapon, do specific roles like um, this one for example. Click it, you can see that um, yeah, you earn points in this ribbon for walking or crouch moving. And we have for all the weapons and tanks and driving and that kind of stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new, make a new soldier, uh, since I want a new soldier. Which apparently is called Hilbert Saller. Yeah. So this is how it looks uh, from the beginning, when you don't really have anything. have the rifle, grenade, but not much else. I don't know if I have any combat badges. Uh, these you unlock by uh, uh, doing sort of, yeah, ribbons and some other stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna do the first training mission now so that you can see a little bit of, uh, of combat. And here is what I'm supposed to do, but um, that's no fun, so I'm gonna do other stuff. I mean, spoiling the entire um, tutorial, that would be horrible, wouldn't it? Um, so yeah, this game is basically about a war. Uh, the war, World War II versus uh, Axis versus Allies. More specifically, uh, US versus Germany. And I am mostly playing as a German because I like their weaponry. Uh, prefer it. Someone's firing upon me, or we are firing upon someone. There. Everybody likes that pistol, so let's take um, this one instead. Here, there's terrible damage indications. So, yeah. When you are playing multiplayer, you will actually see a. Uh, oops. Get ex experience for um, yeah for killing enemies, and then you will see that on your screen instead of just the blood splatter or bust cloud if you miss. Come here, a grenade. It's gonna be over there. Oop. Grenades are awesome in this game. I love grenades. This thing is also fun, but uh, I haven't really used this one as much as I have used the grenades, and I think I just missed. this. Boom! Yeah, this is looking for. You get that kind of um, indication, like it says down there that I penetrated a armor. And now. Yeah, you get that kind of uh, notation when you hit an enemy soldier. And now we're going to do like this. And the final thing. I'm sorry, an enemy plane, but that's boring, so let's have some fun with the machine. Give it a.
Submachine gun. Let's do that instead. This is the standard German rifle, uh, which you start with. The Americans start with an M1 brand instead. I like this one better, because it's uh, iron sights. final thing that I was planning to show. This one is a bit tricky, but uh, yeah. You have, kind of have to aim ahead of the airplane, sort of figure out where it's going. And there we go. Airplane down. And then there is another one. Uh, never mind that. Yay, I won! And then I get my first badge. And the ability to purchase a submachine gun, which I'm gonna do. Woohoo, I'm promoted! Fun! Uh, I have a submachine gun. I Alright, I, if I click the weapon slots, any of them up here, I can modify uh, what I'm gonna take into battle. So I'm gonna take the submachine gun and I want some extra ammo for it. But I also want the frag grenades, because frag grenades is awesome. Clearing buildings. And let's see, um, what else is there to talk about? Oh right, this thing. This is the war that is going on between uh, Germany and the US, and currently it looks like Germany is winning. The Allies have, I think this is some part of northern France, but I'm not entirely sure. My geography sucks. And there is um, two kinds of battles. There is these kinds of battles um, where you, it's, it's attack and defend, basically. One team attacks, one team defends. Nothing really um, innovative with that. Then we have these little, okay, not that one, not that one either. Uh, they, they're hiding from me. Um, just, let's see, there is um, skirmishes also, there was one, um, where you have, um, it's basically attack and defend as well, but um, here both teams attack and defend. You have three locations which you get points for holding. So you kind of rush in uh, and wait a little while, and then you take them over, and you can then um, <coughs> um, yeah, and then you get points for holding them. But um, yeah, let's do some 
combat. Here you can either choose if you want to uh, just practice or actually do some good in that big picture I just showed you. But I'm gonna use this uh, where I can, yeah, here is both training and campaign missions. And you see the ping and uh, if it's attack, defend, or and on which map. Let's see how many maps there is. There is uh, a airfield, a village, or town, I'd say. Um, let's see what else. There is um, a bunch of different towns, apparently. I haven't really noticed that before. And then there is this mountain village. And here at the bottom are the um, empty missions. Let's see if we can find a skirmish to join. Uh, that one is a terrible ping. So let's not join that one. Uh, right, there is the factory map as well. This, is, this, this one is my favorite. So yeah, let's join that one. And we're app apparently attacking. Now I'm just hoping that the enemy don't have tanks. Because um, handling tanks with a submachine gun is uh, pretty difficult. And the grenades don't really do... Yeah, they're not intended to destroy tanks, so... At least, at least not mine aren't. So, they are terrible against them, which kind of sucks, if you find one. Yeah, they have... Oh, they have two uh, light tank squads. Fun times, fun times. And, oh. Yeah, you can see what they have um, in the lower right side of the score screen down there. So I'm going to deploy on foot here, and then I'm going to rush, see if I can find a bike or something. There's the tanks. There's one of my allies with a um, Kubelwagen. So let's go over here and take control over B1. See if he can drive. Oh yeah, he could. Ah. God damn it. Not as smartest idea to jump out in front of a uh, moving car. So apparently my soldier is retarded. Apparently my teammates aren't that smart either, since they're standing here doing nothing while they should be taking control over B2. So I think we're gonna lose this. Oh, right, they have got their tanks at the gates of that thing. Fun times, fun times. And the worst part about this game is um, mostly the teammates. If they if they have a clue about what they're doing, then woohoo! If they don't, you're screwed. something useful. There's an anti-air gun over there. And there's an enemy. 
was not really prepared for me being there where I was. So yay. Something is happening over here. Sadly, he was prepared for where I was going to be, um, which is kind of my own fault. I just positioned myself poorly, so yeah. And now we have these guys running around on the mountain. I don't know why, but yeah, they are. And our tanker doesn't seem to know what he's doing either. Fun times, fun times. There we had an, a terrible enemy. Um, which apparently couldn't hit me from about point blank. Clever enough to throw grenades. Wow. <gasps> and now I'm just wondering... Oh right, he's preparing his tank. M4 
five Stewart over there. Of a tank if you don't have one. Shoot the guy in it. And then fun times. Now let's see if I can get into this tank without being killed. I don't think so, but uh, I'm gonna give it a try. after a infantryman because priorities Comes our tanks. Fire upon him over there. So yeah, this is how it. Oh, there's a truck over here. Let's see if there's someone that owns this truck around. Yep, it worked. saw me before I saw him, which sucks. <coughs> Alright, let's see if we can get into two. Probably not, because I think it's fairly heavily guarded by tanks and snipers and other nasty stuff. But um yeah I might as well try.
apparently I only wounded someone, which sucks. I'm looking away, there comes an enemy. One of our guys, might I add. Then we have that smart one. Um, and that smart one. Let's see if we can make him stop. Nope. That way. Let's take the bicycle. As everyone knows that bicycles are the best way in somewhere. Oh shit, tank. <coughs> yeah, that's probably what's happened. What happens in this game when you're looking the other way? Someone comes around and shoots you closer than the guy from, or from shorter range than the guy you were looking at, which is annoying. Always annoying.
guy. Tank with me? I really have no idea about strategy. This is our best chance of taking out an enemy since we're damaged is uh, surprise. He's just happily find a way to be in your location.
And he's got a rifle, of course. I probably should have gone with um, the standard rifle instead. Because I am more of a long range kind of guy. At least on this map. Hello. are usually not this long. This is an even battle. Although, fairly even. Um, since we can... Yeah. Get into... Take over... And take over B. to him, but um, <sighs> his friends are keeping me from him. Ooh, 
Urban. And yeah. That was a good battle, even though we lost. But hey, I got stuff. Let's see. Almost 3,000 credits. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> ah. Wonderful. So, yeah. That was my little introduction to... Um, Heroes and Generals. I hope to see some of you uh, in the game future. Uh, I'm gonna be streaming more of this, so if you liked it, subscribe or something, or follow me on Twitter or something. Um, I will make sure that uh, yeah, that is possible an easy manner. So yeah. Thank you for watching.